What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to of course be talking about with you guys. This time some really weird and odd news that I, I don't know how to even go about making this video because I honestly think that this trade could possibly be a potential lose-lose for both teams and that's the recent reports that actually do suggest that the Detroit Pistons are interested in Ben Simmons and apparently have discussed a trade with Philadelphia 76ers that would actually send Jeremy Grant over to Philadelphia. Now, this is all being reported by Keith Pompey, or Pompey rather. Um, again, I just think this is a lose-lose for both teams because really with the Philadelphia 76ers, I know they like Tyrese Maxey and I think Tyrese Maxey is a really good player. I just think that how badly do they need to go out and get a power forward like Jeremy Grant? Like, when I ask myself that, it's really, like, they, they just don't. They already have Tobias Harris. He's killing it at the power forward position. I really don't like Tobias at the small forward. I think he plays his best basketball when he is playing the power forward. Um, I really do like that. Um, and, th and then when you look at the Philadelphia 76ers side of things, look, maybe they do need a backup power forward, but... The thing is, there are backup power forwards out there that you could potentially get. Like, there will be definitely some up for trade. There might be some veterans here and there that might be looking for a fresh start or just don't like the team that they're on or maybe are up for trade right now that they could really go after. But what I really think they need is, a, you know, another guard, in my opinion, you know, an all-star level guard that can create his own shot. Of course, that's the thing they've been looking for for the last five years, you know, when they drafted Markel Fultz, they really hoped he'd be that shot-creating guard. Just didn't happen. They've been on the search for one ever since, and when we look at Tyrese Maxey, he can definitely be that, and I also see Tyrese Maxey playing a bit of the two as well, and I think he does do that really, really well, and hey, has been really great for them at starting point guard this year. There's just a player out there right now who I really feel like would be perfect for this you know, Philadelphia 76 the team, and that's actually John Wall. Like, John Wall's been renowned to not only be a pretty good playmaker in his career, but also be one of the most elite, you know, shot-creating point guards in the league. He's been able to do that. He's had seasons where he's averaged, like, well above 23 points per game, I believe, and I think he could definitely come onto the Philadelphia 76ers and average around 20 points per game and, like, five assists. While Tyrese Maxey can definitely have big minutes off the bench, still probably playing around 25 to 30, and still doing what he's kind of doing right now. So, in my opinion, this is the trade they should go for. Go ahead and trade him to, you know, the Houston Rockets, and then get back John Wall and a bunch of picks, this and that. And hey, there might be a, a power forward here and there on the Rockets. I can't really think of one, but maybe they, they find one here and there that's pretty cheap or something like that. Um, or maybe they just, I'm sure they'll have some qualifying option or something will happen. And hey, they could look up and try and get like Daniel Tice to come off the bench. That might be an a right idea to maybe do. Um, I wouldn't actually mind that at all if I was the Philadelphia 76ers. But when we look at the Detroit Pistons as well, I don't see why they need to get Ben Simmons. Of course, it's reported that the Philadelphia 76ers are going to want a near all-star type player and like three to four first round picks so when we look at it like this why would the you know philadelphia why would the detroit pistons rather want to give up like three first round picks in the future and their best player for a guy that really hasn't done much in the last year or so um and just doesn't really fit in with their team like jeremy grant fits better in with their team i know that they might be looking for a potential uh, you know, make Sadiq Bay the power forward. Um, you know, what the what the suspicious, like, thing is with this team is, though, it seems like Sadiq Bay would be better at the power forward, and it's a little bit suspicious that maybe they haven't traded Jeremy Grant at this point. Like, that could be the way people look at it. I don't know if I look at it like that. I think Sadiq Bay and Jeremy Grant, they might not work together, but I think it's not too bad to have them together. Um, what it would reportedly be if they traded for Ben Simmons, it'd be uh, Simmons at the one... Cade Cunningham at the two. Um, I think Josh Jackson at the three, Sadiq Bay at the four, and then whoever they're still playing at the five, Isaiah Stewart or whatever. And then apparently Killian Hayes would be a part of the deal. Um, and I don't know. Does Killian Hayes 
if you're a Sixers fan, would you want Killian Hayes? Probably not. Um, I'm not sure how much longer he's got in the league because in his first two seasons so far, he's not gotten better. Hasn't looked like an NBA player at all. And I wouldn't be surprised if after his third season, the Pistons just decide not to pick up that player option. There's already been rumors about that, which is crazy to think. But I think it's just pretty obvious that he's probably not an NBA type player and probably wasn't a good pick to begin with. Um, but again, when we continuously look at this whole entire situation, I just don't understand why the Philadelphia 76 or Detroit Pistons would want to do this. I honestly believe that you probably both get, not worse, of course the Pistons improve out of this, and you know, both teams would improve, I would think, but I still feel like it's a lose-lose because they wouldn't improve that much to make this trade really worth it. Like, the Detroit Pistons would improve quite a bit, but they'd also lose a bunch of picks. Um, while the Philadelphia 76ers would improve a tiny bit, because they bring in a dude like Jeremy Grant, but it would be a missed opportunity to maybe go after someone like John Wall, which your team would definitely get a lot better than if they maybe trade for Jeremy Grant. So that's my complete issue with it. I don't see this trade going through. I don't think it will. Um, I hope it doesn't. But what the reported trade is right now, that they are saying it will apparently be Killian Hayes, Jeremy Grant and two future first round picks for Ben Simmons and look I don't know how I feel about that I, I feel like the Sixers could get a better deal somewhere else um, and you know Killian Hayes at this point is looking like a bad contract like he's on around seven million dollars a year um, just to really take up space like he has done nothing on the Detroit Pistons and I'm really not even afraid to like talk trash about him because I don't expect him to prove me wrong at all, I don't think he will. Like at the time of making this video, he's only averaging, you know, five and a half points per game, three and a half rebounds, three and a half assists. His three point percentage has gone up a little bit, but yeah, he really hasn't gotten that much better from last year. If not, could have legitimately got worse. His percentages just seem to get better, except for his two point percentage, which is a whopping 26%. So yeah, Killian A is just not a good player. Um, I think a lot of Pistons fans are pretty upset with that pick to this day. And yeah, it just it looks like a pretty much a train wreck that was waiting to happen when they picked him. And yeah, I think I think a lot of people saw that, especially when he had his hip injury in his first season. Jeez, that was... It looked like already then uh, they just ran some bad luck and it just wasn't NBA-type player. So yeah, it's pretty frustrating, especially if you're a Pistons fan. But of course, I would very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest NBA content and NBA news. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, MIRO slash Long Charles, if you haven't already, which I will all be linking them in the description down below. But as I was saying, you know, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.